the lovely things about Exmoor is that it's relatively quiet as national parks go, relatively unvisited. There's an awful lot of places that people can go for a walk. Our bridleway network is unusual in that 60% of our public rights of way are bridleway status or above. So we've got this vast network for horse riding and cycling. Access can have a big impact on land in various ways. So you've got people keeping the drainage good, making sure the path is nice and easy to use in good repair. Every path will get inspected at least every two years. And things like the coast path, that's getting inspected every six months to just make sure that the vegetation is kept down because that's one of the biggest bits of work is doing the strimming to just stop the thing from disappearing under nettles and bramble. Our field services team, they've got a fantastic array of skills. Carpentry and woodworking skills, using machinery like excavation machinery and all that kind of heavy plant. Of course, there's still a need for some of the more traditional skills in our work. So you've got things going on like hedge lane to some extent, coining up of old banks. So this is where you're using the stone facing method to protect earth and banks. Where things get a bit more difficult is, uh, you know, if we have weather like we did last year, where we've got a lot of flooding going on, uh, can cause quite a lot of damage. What we're trying to do here is use a sort of um, as natural and sort of in keeping a method as we possibly can to protect the riverbank from flood damage. Now, the water, when it gets going and when it's high, can be really powerful force, and that's why we've had to use these large stones. So we're actually using this coconut matting, and the idea behind this is that it biodegrades over sort of five to ten year period. That just sort of protects the loose earth that's underneath and gives the planting that we're going to put into it time to grow and establish. A lot of our role is serving the historic nature of Exmoor. So we've got bridges to look after, we've got a huge array of signage out there. Those signs and all that furniture for bridges, for stiles, gates, it's all made from our own timber, from our own woodland estate. Um, brought down here to our X4 depot, milled and seasoned and then made into the furniture so it's all made from our own timber and it's as locally sourced as it can possibly get and as environmentally friendly as we can make it. Mm -hmm.